forecasting is a common practice in supply chain. A forecast analyzes historical data to predict anticipated conditions and trends in the future. For example, a demand forecast may tell us what we expect the demand to be for a given product in a specified period in time. But how accurate is a forecast and what factors tend to affect their accuracy? There are many different mathematical methods to forecast. Naturally, the question arises, which one gives the most accurate results? It is perhaps counterintuitive that the quality of your forecast has actually very little to do with the forecasting method you choose. What it really depends on is how far into the future you forecast and the variability of the historical data. Let's look at these two points in turn. There is an inverse relationship between the time frame of a forecast and its accuracy. The longer the period over which we forecast, the less accurate it is likely to be. Accordingly, a forecast for next week will almost always be more accurate than a forecast for the next month or year. The second point is data variability. If the demand data for a product has been incredibly stable, even a very simple forecasting method, such as the moving average, will give you very accurate results. A rule of thumb when it comes to data stability is that the larger the numbers you're dealing with, the more stable the data. Let's take the sale of air fresheners nationwide versus in a mini market as an example. Even the most simplistic moving average model will give you more accurate forecasts on the national level than the most advanced deep learning techniques in the mini market level. In other words, the level of aggregation conditioned the variance. In conclusion, from a time perspective, the further into the future you forecast, the more the accuracy is jeopardized. As regards to the size of the values of demand, larger numbers tend to output more accurate forecasts. Owing to this, comparisons of forecasts only hold any significance when they have the same time frame and are based on the same historical data exhibiting similar levels of stability.